students good morning dear followers uh, here we are today again to continue our classes in the second as you see so last time we dealt with uh, uh, the report speech with some uh, exercise of application okay so today we are going to deal with the use of wish and regret wish and regret uh, this uh, lesson also is very important for you because it is uh, it comes every year in your composition or in your exams see so what uh, is wish or regret so we have two ways to express wish you have wish what we say in french souhait to wish something to somebody to wish good things to somebody it is like when you say at the end of the the new the, the year you wish a happy new year to every to everybody so this wish is sweet okay you have also expression of wish uh, which expresses regret when you express a regret you can wish you can use wish but with uh, some specific uh, tense okay when we use wish to express regret with the simple past or the past perfect okay you have also the other expression of wish which is a uh, would like also expresses wish i would like to do something so this is also a wish as sue so this is what we are going to see today in this lesson see so wish as sue as i say sue in french okay what is the rule what is to know what you should master in this uh, first part of the lesson when you express wish as sue in in french so the rule is you use subject plus wish plus pronoun plus two plus verb okay this is the first example here we have we wish her to succeed we wish her to succeed so this is what i i put here as the rule subject plus pronoun plus verb pronoun he okay subject we wish and you have here to succeed the verb see we wish her to succeed it means i like her to succeed i like her to pass uh, or to succeed in 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 her life okay good i like her, her to succeed to pass her exam for example you see number two you have wish plus pronoun plus noun okay i wish you all success okay this is the same i wish you all success so you have subject you have wish you have pronoun you and you have here now success is a noun okay raise success is a noun number three you have wish plus noun or pronoun plus would plus verb i wish you would stop smoking 
okay i wish you would stop smoking so i want you to stop smoking okay so my desire is for you to stop smoking so you say i wish you would stop smoking so all these uh, wish expresses uh, what we say sue in french it is a desire that you uh, you you want something to happen a good thing to happen for some for someone okay good uh, you have also the other as uh, expression of wish of desire with subject plus would like would like plus two plus verb plus complement you have would like plus pronoun plus two plus verb plus complement or you have wish plus two plus verb okay so this is the example here i would like to go home now okay i want to go home now my desire is to go home now okay so i would like to go home now it means i wish to go home okay i would like him to come I would like him to come. This is what we have here. Okay, wish plus would like plus pronoun plus two plus four. So I would like him to come. Okay, it means I want him to come. Okay, my willing or desire is uh, for him to come. Okay, you have also they wish to see you okay they would like to see you they wish to see you they want to see you their desire is to see you so all what we express in this first part of the lesson is a desire the desire for something to happen the desire for a person uh, a person to for something to to happen okay so this is what we say wish as way or wish as expressing desire or want okay or will if you want all these are expression of desire and uh, and need if you can express like that now little two you have wish as regret so all what we did in the first part is a desire but now we are going to see how we express wish as regret. The rule is subject plus wish plus simple past. This is a wish in the present. When you regret something in the present, the present situation, we use wish plus simple, simple past. But when we express uh, regret in the past we use wish plus past perfect okay you want something uh, something you want it to you want to happen but that uh, did not happen okay so we use wish with the simple past or the past perfect to express it you have it here subject plus wish plus simple past or wish plus past perfect affirmative or neg negative you have also another expression of wish which is uh, of uh, regret i'm sorry another expression of regret here you have if only if only also is expression of regret and it follows the same rule with wish and simple past wish plus past perfect you have here if only plus simple past or if only plus past perfect oh you see oh, so this expression this two expression of uh, of regret wish and if only are used in the same way in the simple past or in the past perfect to express regret let us see some example here you say i don't know Paul's number. Paul's number is Paul's number call. Paul's number 
telephone number, Paul's telephone number. So we say, I don't know Paul's number, but I want to know it. Something you don't know, and that you wanted to know, okay, so you regret not to know Paul's number. How can we express that regret with wish? This is the example, okay, you say, I wish I knew Paul's number. Okay, so we follow this rule, wish plus simple past. I don't know Paul's number, so we have I don't in the present, I don't know is in the present. I don't know Paul's number, but I want to know it. We have the sentence in the present, so if you have to, to put it, to transform it in wish as a regret, you say I wish I knew. Paul's number. I wish I knew Paul's number. So you see, you have in the sentence, the sentence in the present, you have the negative form. I don't know. So if you, you have to express regret, this negative form should be affirmative in the simple past. You see, I wish I knew Paul's number. It means I don't know it. Okay, it means I don't know Paul's number. So I wish I knew Paul's number. To express regret, we use the simple, the simple past. So if the sentence is in the present, they ask you to uh, transform it with wish as a regret. So think about the simple past. But the verb in the simple, in the simple past. So I don't know, you put I wish, I knew. I knew, knew is a past of no. The simple past of no. So we say no, knew, no. Okay, the, it is an irregular, uh, irre, an irregular verb. Okay, so you see, I don't know Paul's number, I wish I knew Paul's number. So negative, affirma, affirmative. So if this sentence was in the affirmative form, the initial sentence was in the affirmative form, if you have to put it in, in the, uh, in, with wish, in regret, you have to use the negative form. Okay? I know Paul's number. So you say, I wish I didn't know Paul's number. That's it. You have another sentence. It rains a lot here. It rains a lot here. So you say, which you don't like, okay? You regret it, okay? You say, I wish it didn't rain so often. It rains so much here. You have here affirmative sentence, it rains, okay? So with wish, you say, I wish it didn't rain. So you see, you have the affirmative in the initial sentence, and in the sentence with, with uh, wish, you have the negative, the negative form, okay? So this is things you must master, you must know this change, with negative and affirma, affirmative, affirmative and nega, negative. Very important in this lesson, okay? Now we continue, let us see if the sentence is in the simple past. The initial sentence now is in the simple past. Example, I say, I didn't know Paul's number, but I wanted to know it. So, uh, let us come back in this first part. We say here, I don't know. Don't is the negative, the negative form. 
okay present in the present we have didn't is a negative form in the in the in the past okay didn't i didn't know paul's number but i wanted to know it so you say i wish i had known paul's number very important here you have didn't know okay it is in the past so if you have to transform it with wish as regret you say i wish i had no had no negative affirmative simple past past perfect present present simple past negative affirmative affirmative negative so it change according to the form of the of the verb good when you have negative we wish it becomes affirmative when you have the initial sentence in the, uh, the affirmative form we wish it becomes neg negative see what you have here i didn't know paul's number so i wish i had known paul's number so the other form to express the regret with if only is here we have example here if only i knew paul's number okay the same i wish i knew paul's number so it is the same as you say if only i knew paul's number okay i wish i had known paul's number is the same with if only i had known paul's number okay it is the same if only okay follow the same rule with wish with the simple past and the past perfect so you should know your tense you should know what is the simple past and what is the past perfect if you want to know how to deal with uh, wish and regret if you want to know how we deal with wish as regret so to to summarize when we use wish the rule you wish you use it to express regret we use this with the simple past or the past perfect okay simple past or the past perfect and if only also follow the same rule we use if only plus the simple past or the past perfect and this is what we do we we show here uh, with these examples okay i wish i knew paul's number it means i don't know paul's number okay uh, it rains it rains a lot here i wish it didn't rain a lot here i didn't know paul's number so i wish i had known paul's number the same with if only i knew paul's number if only i had known paul's number so this is the way we deal with the wish as regret uh thank you very much you are going to go to go to the next step of this lesson w -w -w